And we turn now to the fiscal cliff getting closer. Just 10 days until everybody's taxes go up and spending cuts kick in. And Washington's a ghost town with no deal in sight. Talks halted until after Christmas, leaving just a few days to bang out some kind of plan before the deadline. ABC's David Curley has the latest from the White House. David, before leaving to spend the holidays with his family, the president urged lawmakers to find some common ground in these final days, but that doesn't seem to be happening right now. It doesn't. In fact, the president in that same message, Bianca, basically gave up on the big deal for right now. He just wants a stopgap measure to keep taxes from going up and a framework for a bigger deal sometime next year. All this while the halls of Congress are empty and the president's not in this house either. This morning, the president arrived in his home state of Hawaii for the holidays. Before leaving, he told members of Congress to cool down, have some eggnog and Christmas cookies, and come back and make a deal. Nobody can get 100% of what they want. And this is not simply a contest between parties in terms of who looks good and who doesn't. There are real world consequences to what we do here. While members of the House left town, the Republican leader in the Senate reflected the gridlock in front of a fireplace. I'm stuck here in Washington trying to prevent my fellow Kentuckians from having to shell out more money to Uncle Sam next year. Joking aside, the president met again with the Democratic leader of the Senate and House Speaker John Boehner, but it is a wounded and weakened Speaker of the House who was deserted by his fellow Republicans when he tried to extend tax rates for everyone but millionaires. Are you giving up on your conference? Are you, are you quitting? <coughs> Absolutely not. And we're prepared to come back if needed. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows 53 percent of Americans believe Republicans need less conservative policies, more focused on the middle class. For now, the halls of Congress are empty until next Thursday, leaving us closer to taxes going up and massive spending cuts taking effect, unless they can make a deal. How we get there, uh, God only knows. The president says there's still a chance. Call me a uh, hopeless optimist but I actually still think we can get it done. And the president wished everyone a Merry Christmas. Here's the problem. What the president's asking for now, this stopgap measure, is what Boehner actually tried to get passed in the House on Thursday, but he never even brought that bill to the floor, knowing that his fellow Republicans would not vote for it. So we have gridlock as we head to the holidays, Beyond and Dan. Not encouraging to hear the speaker say, God only knows. David yeah. Curley, thank you.